What's up guys, welcome to an updated 2023 NFL Mock Draft. Today, we've got the most updated draft order post-Monday Night Football. Let's get into it. Number one, Bryce Young. It's too easy. Uh, I mean, if you're sitting for the number one pick, Davis Mills is not the answer. And you need to upgrade the most important position on the field, right? Uh, if you're really concerned with Bryce Young's size and you're the Texans, then I'd probably go Jalen Carter or Will Anderson or try to trade back uh, yeah, and take a quarterback next year. There's going to be some good ones. Caleb Williams, Drake May are the two headliners. But you also got some other guys. Bo Nix is returning. So there's some other options. Chicago at pick two. And it's either Will Anderson or Jalen Carter or trade back. you got three options. Uh, not doing trades today. That'll come later. But if no trade back, which I think is pretty likely. I don't know who's going to want to trade up. Uh, maybe someone for Will Anderson or Jalen Carter, but probably not for a quarterback. So they're not going to be willing to really want to pay that steep price of pick two if it's not for a quarterback. I could see them sticking here and taking Jalen Carter. Just seems like such a great fit. And uh, the value of him against any other interior defensive lineman is insane in this class specifically. All right, Seattle at pick three. They're taking Will Anderson if he's there. I mean... Will Anderson on that Seahawks defense would be really fun. The Seahawks could be a really fun team next year. They're adding a top three pick, another first rounder later. <sighs> the Seahawks could be fun, right? They, if they address that defense, Geno plays like he is. Ooh, that could be a fun team next year. All right, watch out for the Seahawks. The Lions at pick four. And it's the quarterback or not the quarterback here, right? Do you go CJ Stroud? Do you go Will Levis, maybe, right? Um, I don't know. I think Jared Goff's played really well this year. I could go both ways, but I think I took a quarterback last draft, so we'll say they don't like any of the quarterbacks, which I'm not really high on any of these guys outside of Bryce Young either, and they look elsewhere. So now you've got corner and edge rusher, basically the only two positions I'd say are worth taking here. Joey Porter, Keely Ringo, Miles Murphy, and Tyree Wilson. Those are basically your main options. Maybe Christian Gonzalez as well. Uh, of those guys, the highest on my board is Miles Murphy. I really, really like Miles Murphy. That's who we're going to go here. Pick five for the Cardinals. I've seen some people going offensive line here as of late, and I just don't think there's the value to go offensive line here. So I'm going to go where I think the best value is, and that's at corner. And uh, I'm going to go Keely Ringo, just the guy with the physical tools to be a beast one day. And the Colts, I think this is a really, really good way for the board to fall if you're the Colts. And I'm taking C.J. Stroud here. I'm not really thinking twice about it either. I think you need a quarterback. Something's not right. Build around C.J. Stroud. I like it. Even though, personally, I'd probably go offensive line just because I think the quarterbacks next year are significantly better than C.J. Stroud. But, yeah, no, this is what will more likely happen. All right. Unless it's Will Levis, which apparently some teams are higher on Will Levis. I don't get it. But, all right, Atlanta here. This is tough here. They're saying, I, I kind of like corner for this team, you know. They got edge and view line at the top. I don't mind a corner here. But I do think I'll stick with Tyree Wilson, just because he's, he's such a physical beast. He's so, so good. There's a few things he needs to clean up, uh, but I could definitely see him going top five even. Like, uh, if you have him over Miles Murphy, I could maybe understand it. Pick eight, Carolina. I would not go Will Levis here if it was me picking, but it's not. So I do think Will Levis is a likely pick here. He's going to go somewhere in the top ten more than likely. And Although I could see a scenario where some of these quarterbacks like C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, start to fall, like we kind of saw last year to a lesser extent. I could see that happening, but it won't in this mock draft. Will Levis goes eight. All right, the Eagles here with this free pick. They were hoping it'd be higher, but here it is at pick nine. And uh, I think there's a clear-cut pick here. Uh, a lot of, I, I'd consider Brian Brazee here, but or Brian Bracey. I'm not really sure. I'm going Joey Porter Jr. I think it's an amazing fit. I think it makes a ton of sense for the Eagles. Uh, BPA, and I really like it. Raiders at pick 10. This is a tough one. No quarterbacks on the board. Hmm. Brian Brazee is probably going to be the pick here. Although maybe you could go corner. 
But I, I, give me Brian Breezy. It makes too much sense. The guy's got such upside. You could get an elite level interior player. I really like that. Jacksonville, this is one of my dream picks. If you're Jacksonville and Quentin Johnston and Peter Skronsky are both still on the board, you are foaming at the mouth. This is like two of the top fits for your team. But also Christian Gonzalez is on the board. Your cornerback room needs a lot of help. But I'm going to go Quentin Johnston and given Trevor Lawrence your franchise quarterback now. He's really stepped it up this year. A big target like Johnston is going to be so clutch. Even though, personally, I think I have Jordan Addison maybe as my, like, 1A and Quentin Johnston 1B. I rewatched Jordan Addison. I really like him. He's such a vertical separator and horizontal. Uh, he's just a really good all-around receiver. Pick 12, Houston. You know, this is kind of looking at the same thing. Do you go receiver or do you go Peter Skronsky here? I like the versatility of Skronsky, but I think Jordan Addison, he makes a lot of sense. And like I said, I really like Jordan Addison, a top 10 player for me. Give me Jordan Addison here, back-to-back -back receivers. Ooh, interesting. Pittsburgh, if Peter Skronsky is on the board. I don't even have to look. I don't even have to look, honestly. Green Bay, kind of worst-case scenario. Neither of the top two receivers on the board. However, Michael Mayer is on the board, who's probably the third best pass catcher in the year, even though he's, I say pass catcher just because of the other things he does, right? Like Jackson Smith and Jake, but as a receiving target, is a better target than Michael Mayer. But Michael Mayer does a lot of other things really well, which put him above Jackson Smith and Jake on my board. I didn't have to explain all that. Pick 14, Green Bay. Do you go Paris Johnson? Do you go Michael Mayer? Maybe you like the upside of Broderick Jones. Uh... Maybe you like the defense. Maybe you want to go Jared Verse, right? Or maybe Brian Branch could be could be interesting, right? The safety play has not been there this year. Uh, there's definitely some really interesting options here. Christian Gonzalez, if you wanted to go corner, eh, no. I think it's between Paris Johnson and Michael Mayer for me. And I think I'm going to go Michael Mayer here. I think at pick 14, it's pretty decent value. Maybe a bit high. I don't mind it. All right, Seattle at pick 15. And this is an interesting spot, right? So who do we take? We took Will Anderson at three. That's right. And, you know, there's, there's one guy who I really like here. And if I didn't take him here, I'd probably take him at the next pick. He is by far the best player at his position in this whole draft. Give me Trenton Simpson. I've talked myself into it. The best middle linebacker in this class. Dude is just crazy good. He's miles of, but I don't know about miles. Jack Campbell and Drew Sanders are both on his toes. I don't think Noah Sewell is the second best linebacker in this class. I think Henry Toa Toa is overrated as well. But there are some other decent linebackers down the board, but I do think I like that one the best by far. All right, the Patriots at 16 miss out on Trenton Simpson, which would be kind of crazy in this Bill Belichick defense but there's some interesting spots here i don't ain't going receiver i don't know about offensive line corner is interesting christian gonzalez is on the board that is elite value hmm that's interesting actually you know what i think i'm gonna go with just bpa and that's christian gonzalez that would be an absolute steal i don't know how great the fit is but an absolute steal the jets at 17 uh, I don't know. I think probably just going to end up going offensive line here, but I'm going to look around. I mean, <sighs> Brian Branch would be sick. Brian Branch would be sick here. But I do like the value of Paris Johnson. Yeah, I'm going to go Paris Johnson. There's been too many injuries, too much inconsistency on that offensive line. All right, Detroit. We got Miles Murphy at four. Okay. So if we already took our edge, if Christian Gonzalez was on the board, that would be such a sick pick here. I I do think I'm gonna end up going Cam Smith here. He's the he's the fourth best at the top four corners, but he is one of those top four corners. There there are, is a separation between those top four and everyone else in this class. And if you can land one of those four guys, you're more than happy to do so. And if I didn't take him here, I'd probably take him with Tampa at nineteen. Tampa at nineteen, speaking of which. They could go Jared Verse. It's a leap value down here. That guy is crazy, crazy good. You could go Bijan, which I don't hate. Leonard Fournette is not it. 
and you need an identity because Tom Brady's probably going to leave. So you could run your team through Bijan. You, you, he can really carry a team. I don't hate that. You need corner help. Like I said, I would have took Cam Smith if he was here. You need, you, need a, you know, this Tampa Bay team's got quite a number of holes, don't they? Oof. What other corners we got? I don't really like Clark Phillips. He's for this team specifically. Next guy up would probably be either Devon Witherspoon or Jalen Jones for me. So maybe you could throw in Emmanuel Forbes. Pretty sure Garrett Williams got injured. I need to check. I'm pretty sure he got injured, and that's why he fell down people's boards. Um, I think I'm going to just go with the value, which is at edge. Oh, Anthony Richardson still on the board. I forgot about AR-15. Okay, yeah. Now give me AR-15. Tom Brady's leaving next year. Anthony Richardson's a project, yes, but he's a project you're willing to... His upside is me. There is a world where Anthony Richardson becomes the best quarterback from this class. It's not unreasonable. So with that kind of upside, Tampa takes him at 19. 20 Tennessee, they are they are loving this pick, I think. Roger Jones, a big dude, a mauler in the run game. You could think about Bijan, maybe. You could dish Jackson Smith and Jake would actually be so nice for this team as well. If Keishon Boutte had declared, he would be a good pick here. You know, I'm giving Jackson Smith and Jake Wider here is just too big of a need to pass here. All right, Commanders. This could be where Jared Verse goes. Maybe. All right, it's just BPA. I don't know. I don't really feel like there's a corner that's worth taking here. Bryant Branch would be interesting. It's not a need, but he could maybe play slot. He can play all over the place. I don't know. That's interesting. Do you reach on a corner here? Or do you go Roger Jones, who is very good value here? Man, this is kind of a tough spot for Washington here. I don't know how I feel about this because, I mean, you're not reaching on any of these guys. Wow, Jaron Hall as QB is the next QB up. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Give me Cam Ward or Dana McKee or I guess not throw Knicks anymore, but crap. Clayton Toon, I'd take him over him. Max Duggan, I'd take him over Jaron Hall. That's That's interesting. That's hot. All right, um, if Trenton Simpson was on the board, dang it. I think I'm going to have to go Broderick Jones here. Just BPA, uh, sure up the offensive line. More offensive linemen is never a bad idea, and the Chargers don't end up with him, and I would have most definitely took him there. Uh, speaking of the Chargers, I think you probably go edge here just because it's where the value's at. I mean... Yeah, give me Jared Verse. It's where the value's at, like I said. Giants, man, you're wishing one of those wide receivers were on the board. Or AR-15. Bijan is on the board. All right. Saquon Barkley is a free agent. I think they're going to bring him back. But there's a world where they don't, and they could go Bijan here. That That's a feasible possibility. We're not going to do that in this draft book, because I think it's it's unlikely. Feasible, but unlikely. So instead, let's let's go for one of these receivers. I li- I really like Josh Downs. I think he is a borderline first round pick, and it's such a huge need for y'all. Baltimore, I've seen it mocked a million times, but I'm gonna do it as well. Give me Bijan. Can't give me Bijan. All right, Broncos. I think you gotta look offensive line. Um. You could think interior, but I think you really need to tackle long term. I mean, you you could look elsewhere. Nolan Smith would be such a great fit for this team, I think. Brian Branch would also be kind of fun. But I think I'm actually going to go Nolan Smith. I really, really like the fit of that. I think it's one of the best fits in the draft. Maybe my ideal fit for Nolan Smith. So I really like that. Cowboys. Hmm. Interesting position here. Because I think they've just had one of the best players in the draft fall in their lap. Fall down draft board. Give me Brian Branch, dude. I mean, that's just a value pick there. 
He can do everything for you in the secondary. I absolutely love it. Cincinnati, I do feel like corners got to be where you go here or offensive line, but uh, give me Devon Witherspoon. He's been flying up boards, flying up my board. Clark Phillips, if you're worried about the size or whatever there, yeah, give me Devon Witherspoon. Kansas City at 28, and I'm going to go with one of my favorite players in the draft. Uh, he's fallen down other people's boards. He's still pretty high on mine. Give me Felix on a DK Zama. I feel like this is his range is pretty big in this draft. I think he could go from top 15 to you know fringe first rounder. But here he falls in Kansas City's lap in back to back classes. George Karloftis falls to him last year, and now Felix on a DK on a DK Uzama. Whew, that edge core is looking really good. Minnesota, it's edge or corner here. And I really like the fit of Clark Phillips to them, but their team is not going to worry about the size too much, although that is a concern for him. Uh, give me Clark Phillips. 30, this is, I mocked this so much, I feel bad almost, but give me Osiris Torrance. Just the best interior offensive lineman in the class. It makes a ton of sense if Bijan's not on the board. 31, Philadelphia, who do we take? We took Joey Porter Jr. All right, so it's edge and corner for Philly are the top two needs on everyone's minds. So, look at this edge class. I, I do like Isaiah Foskey, but I could see him falling just because I don't think he has that elite upside that maybe you're looking for in the first round. Whereas a guy like Andre Carter does have that upside. BJ Ujolari, yeah, I don't think he has that upside. But, you know, but for a Philly team that's trying to win a Super Bowl right now, maybe they don't mind that. They like the floor of Isaiah Foskey. We'll take him here. And Houston, who have we taken so far? Bryce Young and Jordan Addison. Love those picks. You're in a good position just to go BPA here, honestly. And where even is that? It might be BJ Ujolari here. RJ Carter is high up my board here. Dewan Jones. I'm pretty high on Dewan Jones. Huh. I, I like this position of being there's no more interior guys to think about here lucas van ness i do need to watch him i am not sure if he's coming out this draft but i, I need to watch him at some point I'm, i've heard good things uh the clemson guys are good later round swings uh will mcdonald's interesting i think he plays a lot of edge though honestly uh you can fact check me on that but i'm pretty sure he plays more edge than he does interior i think i'm gonna go I'm tempted just to go Andre Carter here, swing for the fences. And that's what I'm going to do. Give me Andre Carter. So, it's a bit of a longer one. I talked a lot, I know. Uh, but I really like the the draft that we ended up with. I think we made a lot of good picks. And uh, what do you guys think? Uh, tell me in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, peace out.